For us wheelchair users, one of the most important muscles that we can train is our triceps. The triceps are a key muscle that are involved in many upper body movements. And for us wheelchair users, it's used in many movements like pushing our wheelchair, transferring, and lifting things above our head. So we wanna make sure we have an effective tricep training routine to make sure they're as strong and as efficient as they possibly can be. So in this video today, I'm gonna to be giving you some great strategies to maximize your tricep training. And if you're a quadriplegic like myself, then I've got a bonus strategy that is specific for us quadriplegics with weakened triceps. But let's start off with strategy number one, which is prioritizing the stretch under load. If you've watched other videos in this series, you'll understand that this is quite a common theme. But when we exercise and put load on the stretch part of our exercise, it results in better muscle growth. This can be achieved by doing exercises that prioritize a full range of motion in the triceps. A great exercise, for example, is the overhead tricep extension. And that's because we start in a stretch position and fully extend, allowing for a full range of motion and putting load on the stretch phase. If you're doing this for the first time, then you may need to drop the weight to something lighter than you're used to. The reason for this is because you're increasing the time under tension and also increasing the stress on the muscle. Over time, however, you can build that weight back up as you get stronger and you'll find better results from starting light and building up slowly than you would have done with just sticking with the weight you originally had. So remember, full range of motion, emphasizing on that stretch phase, is better than a heavier weight and a shorter range of motion. Moving on to the next bit, we wanna focus on the eccentric part of our movement. When we exercise, there's a lot of focus on the contraction of the muscle, but that's only half of the exercise. The other half is lowering it back down again. The muscle also works during this phase. So if you're only concentrating on contracting the muscle, you're only getting half of the workout in. To do this, we need to resist the resistance when returning to the starting position. A great way to do this is to count two or three seconds from the fully contracted phase to the start position of your exercise. An example for this is the tricep across body, where we can extend that arm out, pause for about a second, and then slowly lower over about two or three seconds. That means our muscle is under tension for more of the time, and we're actively working it for a longer time. Our triceps work in multiple planes of motion. So it's important to actually train in those multiple planes of motion too. So when you are doing your training, mix it up with a variety of angles. So for example, when we're using a cable machine, we can do a tricep push down, tricep across the body, and tricep overhead extension. All work in the tricep slightly differently. Work in those different angles, put slightly different emphasis on different parts of the tricep. So it's important to get a variety in to make sure we're getting a full tricep development. You may find if you have weakened triceps, for example, as a quadriplegic like myself, that some angles may work better than others. Find the angle that works for you and make that your priority tricep exercise. One of the best ways we can exercise our triceps is to really focus on contracting and extending the muscles. We already talked on it briefly when talking about the eccentric phase of the movement. With the triceps in particular, it can be quite easy to activate other muscles that assist when we actually just wanna isolate the triceps and work them by themselves. For example, when doing a tricep pull down, the lats and the rear deltoids can get involved too. We don't necessarily want this to happen. So focus on getting proper tension in the muscle, really feel the contraction and move slowly through the movement, improving that mind-muscle connection. You'll know when you hit it right because those triceps will fatigue. You'll get a pump, which is the blood to go into that area so they get swollen. And if you can feel it, you will certainly feel it the next day. And the last point here is specifically for my quad buddies out there, especially those who are struggling to do any form of tricep movement. And that is to focus on tricep isometrics. One exercise in particular is really great for this, and that is the straight arm pull down. You can do this with the cable or a resistance band, but we're gonna focus on the cable machine to start with. We have that cable up around about shoulder height, and with a straight arm, we're gonna pull it down to our side and then slightly behind us. Now, what we're doing here is trying to keep our arm as straight as possible. And although this is an exercise that mainly works your lats, your tricep is working isometrically to keep your arm straight. That's because your triceps are helping you to resist the urge to bend that elbow. So if your arm is staying straight through that movement, you're working your triceps, even if you're not bending at the elbow. So keeping that arm straight through that movement is working the triceps 
by not allowing the elbow to bend. This is particularly great for us quadriplegics who have weakened triceps and it's a great starting point where you can slowly increase the weight that you're using and eventually maybe even go onto some of the extension exercises. I've used this with a few clients of mine for great effect and you can use it too. So there are my strategies for effective tricep training. So let's summarize our strategies here. We wanna prioritize exercises that increase the stretch of our triceps so we get full range of motion for maximum muscle gain. We also want to make sure we're emphasizing that eccentric part of the face so we're not skipping out on half of the workout and we do this by lowering it slowly. Make sure you're diversifying your exercises by pushing in multiple planes of motion and prioritize finding one that works for you. When performing any tricep exercise, we want to make sure we have a good mind-muscle connection to properly activate the tricep and not the supporting muscles. And the last one is for those with weakened triceps to work on your isometrics. If you have any comments, questions, or concerns about any of the things I've talked about today, pop them in the comments section down below and let's get a conversation started of how to make the best out of your tricep training. If you did like the video, be sure to give it a thumbs up. It really does help this video to reach more people who need it. If you're new here or you haven't done already, be sure to subscribe to the channel so you can see more great videos just like this one and many more on the way too. Thank you very much for joining me today, guys, and I'll see you very soon. Goodbye. Are you ready to start your fitness journey? Then sign up now at adaptandperform.co.uk and get access to hundreds of workouts specifically for us wheelchair users.